Hi, it's your old pal, Uncle John John. And I'm here to tell you another bad time story. Now, if you are watching this video and your mom and your dad are, are with you, uh, you may remember I complained about my hair looks like a water buffalo, but now it doesn't look like a water buffalo. Now it just looks like Shirley Temple hair. If Shirley Temple got married to Christopher Reeve, see? <sighs> Ask your grandparents. Yeah, Uncle John John's old. Ugh. Anyway, it's time for a story, and we're going to come back to a, a book, a book that we've been, we've been using before, and it's about our friend who, who by now we've met. It's the gold frog with the gold goose. Yeah, he's back. And, but there's more stories in this, in this book that I'm going to tell you. Remember, I don't know the stories. I'm just looking at the pictures because some of the words, oh, there's a lot of words. So let's go, let's go to the beginning of the story. And this story is about a cat. It's about a cat who can walk like a, like a person. So many of, of my stories involve person animals, like a person, person, uh, uh, frog, a person, person, rat, a person, person, pig. This is a person cat. And this person cat, uh, is actually not like the other person animals that, that I told you about before. This one actually is a cat size person cat. So actually, I think it's just a cat. It's just a cat that can walk like a person. This cat is walking like a regular person. It's a very cute cat. It's a it's a brown and white and gray cat with a blue ribbon around his neck. Mm, very cute cat. And, and this cat is dancing on a table next to his buddy. Uh, who's, who's a dude with long blonde hair like a rock star wearing old timey clothes, which is cool. And, and the dude, the, the dude is maybe like a dance coach because he's looking at the dancing cat and giving like some ideas. So that's what I think is happening. I think, I think that this, 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 uh, this cat and by cat, I mean this young man, uh, I, I call all people that I don't know cats, but this is, that's confusing in a story in which the, the hero of the story is also a cat. So I better stop doing that. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this, uh, this young man is a dance coach and we can tell because he's wearing like dance clothes, like ballet, maybe kind of ballet outfit, ballet, like for a performance in, in a theater or something. And so he's really cool. And he's also got like a blue scarf around his neck. So maybe they're part of like a, a dance group and he's, and he's giving pointers to the cat and says, okay, you need to go dance and, and, and is helping the cat dance really well. So why is he helping the cat dance really, really well? So, um, it's because, um, because the cat is going to a dance contest and uh, has not practiced in front of an audience before. So the coach says, all right, well, you got to go to this dance contest. But before you do that, you, you got to get over your stage fright. You can't be a fraidy cat, huh? A fraidy cat, because it's a cat and he's afraid he's got stage fright. So, uh, so anyway, this, uh, this, uh, coach says, okay, go out, go out and on, on your way to the contest. Come on. You know, you can do you're a good dancer. You're doing great on your way, on your way to this dance contest. Um, go visit some of your friends and, 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 and perform in front of them 
and then they'll uh, tell you, you know, what they think. And so the the cat was walking along, walking along, and, and visited his his old friend who is a lumberjack. Uh, but this lumberjack seems to be a friend of the dance coach, because the lumberjack is wearing kind of the same clothes. And he's really big and he's really strong, and so he's uh, he's like, okay, um, all right, listen, um, uh, I know what a good dance, what good dancing looks like because uh, my friend uh, is it is your, your dance teacher, and so uh, why don't you dance for me? And so the cat danced and and the cat danced and danced and danced in front of this uh, this big lumberjack. And the lumberjack who is sitting in a really really very fine chair. Very fine chair, holding a holding a um, a, 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 a uh, whatever it is a lumberjack holds, but it doesn't look like it's an axe. Like a lumberjack holds an axe because a lumberjack chops down trees, and wears uh, suspenders, and likes to sing. Anyway, so uh, the this lumberjack says, "Okay." And by the way, by the way, I've got to say this: this uh, I'm really jealous of this of this lumberjack because the lumberjack has a really really great beard. Has a really great beard, and I'm really jealous. I'm really jealous of this uh, this lumberjack's beard because it's really really cool. It's got a really cool mustache called a handlebar mustache. Yeah, it's a handlebar mustache. That's really cool, and so. Um, so, uh, the giant says, okay, you're, you're really good. Um, but I can't give you any more advice on what to do better. Uh, and, and, but you should keep going. You should keep going. But so you don't be late to the dance contest, but you need to practice more uh, in front of people who don't, who don't know you and don't have a lot of experience with dancing. So you need to find somebody who's like, uh, really kind of coming to see you perform without any real expectation. And so if you can impress them, then you know, you're doing really well. Yeah. And so the cat was like, oh, yeah, oh, my gosh, this is, that's a really great idea. Uh, uh, I better, I better get going. Um, by the way, by the way, why, why, what is it with cats? Why, why do we, why do we, why, why does a story only have to have cats? Well, because, uh, because, uh, actually, um, the reason why is because I'm telling this story on a special day of the, of the week. And it doesn't happen every day or every week, but it's a special day of the week called Catter Day. Huh? Catter Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and when is Catter Day? And according to this picture of a cat who's being very, very... Uh, proper and official says, ah, today is Catcher Day. So what, what day is today? Well, today, if you look on your calendar, if you look at the calendar, today is Catcher Day. And if you don't, if you can't see a calendar, you can ask your mom or your dad. You can say, hey, mom, hey, dad, what is today Catcher Day? And they'll say, yes, today is Catcher Day. Because that's what the picture says so. Okay, so um, we need to go back to the story. What's happening to the cat? What's happening to the cat? Okay, so in this story, uh, the cat is marching along on the way to the dance contest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And along the way, he sees uh, uh, three farm workers, not farmers, but farm workers chopping down wheat or hay or something. And they're, and by the way, they're not using uh, 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 industrial farm equipment like a tractor or uh, 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 uh. anyway. Uh, so it's not using uh, uh, equipment. And, uh, but instead they're using uh, hand tools. That's got to be a lot of work. They're using like a, like a hand tool to chop down the grass and they're using their hands to gather up the grass or the hay or the wheat or whatever it is because I, I don't I don't know it, it all looks the same to me um the, the only way I know what it is is because eventually it becomes donuts and donuts come in my tummy not in my eyes so anyway 
uh, these farmers are, are, are farm workers, really, because they're not farmers. They're collecting this this uh, long, long grass, uh, but with their hands. And they're also all wearing uh, workers' clothes and workers' caps and scarves. And so this cat is like, oh, you don't look like you, your usual farmers, and you don't look like uh, uh, you're using uh, modern equipment to chop down this wheat or this uh, we are or, or grass or this hay. And the, and the worker said, well, we, we refuse to. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Do you know why? Because uh, the, the machines are kind of a symbol. They're an image. Of, of big of big farm big farm companies and and we don't like big farm companies we like to be down to the earth and all natural and we believe in a society where everybody gives up all of the machines and relying on on a big society and 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 big community to tell us how to live our lives and give us rules so no we're just gonna live off of the land and be free and and only the people only the people who agree with us can can work with us and be our friends and and the other the other workers were like yeah 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 uh we're independent except when we're together with our friends and everyone else is not allowed and they can stay away unless they want to be our friends and then yeah 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 and we'll all be independent together yeah a group of independent uh workers working hard and uh having dangerous jobs where they might get sick or or um like if they catch cold they can't work and then they don't make any money because they don't have jobs oh wow but at least they're independent with their friends yeah and uh, and the cat said, oh, "Oh, okay, okay, yeah, great, 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 great. Um, can I uh, can I dance for you while you're working?" And they said, "Oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. You can dance for us." And, and so the cat danced. The cat danced. <laughs> and and the farmers were like, "Yeah, your dance is really, really good." And the cat said, "Oh, that's what the giant said before, and that's what my teacher said before." So I guess, okay, I guess uh, that's that's good feedback from you. And so he kept walking along, he kept walking along. And so he left these uh, these um, workers uh, to do their very, very hard job, even though they could make their job a lot easier and be beneficial to their little their little uh, uh, colony of, of indiv individual workers. Um, uh, but they choose not to. And the cat said, okay, well, that's their, that is their lifestyle choice. And, and, uh, some of us get to choose our lifestyles and sometimes our lifestyles, uh, uh, uh choose us and both is okay. Both is okay. Uh, so long as those things don't hurt other people. And it lets other people, uh, make those choices or not make those choices too. Because it's their life too, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and so the cat uh, finished dancing, and then he walked along. He walked along, and he walked along. And uh, what did he do? What did he do? Ooh, ooh. Oh, he he came across a carriage, a carriage. And I don't know why all of my stories don't have cars, but uh, apparently, apparently, in this story there is no car, but there is carriage. But this is a beautiful horse and carriage. This time, um, the horses are have costumes on. Then they look all official and royal. There's even a, a man riding one of the horses who looks like a he looks like a soldier, but like a an officer in the military. And the carriage looks like a like a it looks a little bit like candy. It's so beautiful. And inside is a beautiful woman. Beautiful. I bet she's like a princess or something. So. Um, the, the carriage stops and the beautiful princess lady, she looks out the window. She says to the cat, Hey cat, what, uh, what are, what are you doing? Um, over there. And the cat said, Oh, I'm on my way to the dance contest and I'm, uh, I'm worried about being late. Hey, listen, are you, are you going, uh, to the dance contest too? And the, and the lady in the carriage said, Oh my gosh, 
um, I am. And if you if you can race me to the dance contest, uh, I'll give you candy. And the cat was like, oh, um, I don't know. I, I kind of want a ride in the carriage um, so I'm not late. But at the same time, free candy. That's a hmm, hard choice to do. Uh, free candy. Uh, what to do? What to do? Mm. So they they had they decided. He decided. Okay, let's race. So he raced this horse and carriage. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, and so um, and and during the and during the race, um, uh, the the. The officer riding the horse was was uh, racing along with the cat, and he was like, "Hey, wait a minute! Why are we racing a cat? Why not a monkey? Why not another horse? Why not a a a, a an electric scooter? Why not? Why am I not racing an electric scooter?" Well, the cat said, "Well, because uh, evidently it is it is Catterday," and and the officer on the horse said, "Catterday." What? And if you look at this picture, the cat's going, what? Let me see if I can do it right. What? What? Yeah. Because it's Catterday. And and these it's two official sources for Catterday agree. Okay, this is another cat. Another cat is confirming. That the time of this story is on a catter day. A catter day, okay? Not a not a Tuesday. Okay. Not a a a a, a, a Monday uh, tea time. No. Catter day. Ha <laughs> ha. Um so what happens? Oh okay, so what happens is um uh, 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 the cat, the cat arrives at the dance and uh, the, there's competition, there's competition and the cat is going, is winning, is winning. Oh, yay. Until finally there's the big competition with the prom king and the prom queen of the, of the dance contest. Oh my gosh. What's a prom king and what's a prom queen? Well, ask your mom and dad if they went to uh, an American high school, ask them what is prom, and then ask them what is a prom king, then ask them if, what is a prom queen, and then ask your mom if she was a prom queen or if she was a homecoming queen, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, but anyway, I'm getting distracted from this story. I'm getting a little distracted from, from this story. Um, yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a there's a dance contest. There's going to be a dance-off between the prom king, prom queen, and the, and the, the, the cat who's been rising up in the, in the tournament. So the dance tournament or whatever the, the thing is. And, and by the way, we know they're the dance king and we know that they're the dance queen because they're all wearing like, uh, 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 or not prom, sorry, dance. I'm at prom, prom, because they're all wearing um, the school colors of the prom. I don't know why there are school colors in a dance contest, but anyway. And we know they're king and queen because they have the, the king and queen crown on their heads and they're wearing king and queen costumes. Which, by the way, I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. Y you should be able to do that. And uh, because it's the three of them, they did something called a square dance because a square dance is kind of like a country dance that we do in America. It's like from the wild, wild west. And it's called a square dance because a square has three sides. And if you have, if you have a king and a queen and a cat, as every square dance has, there's three people in a square dance, and they all move in a square. So, so there's three sides to this dance, which duh, that's a square, and then they all move like in a square. So it's like a double square dance. So it's square squared, and it's and it's square dance all the way down 
and and until there's turtles and then there's turtles and then I guess there's an elephant at the bottom of the square dance. I don't know. Um, Uncle John John's sleepy. And speaking speaking of Uncle John John, Uncle John John being sleepy. Are you getting sleepy? I hope you're getting sleepy. I, I hope you're already asleep. I hope you're already asleep. And is your mom and is your dad asleep? I wish everybody were asleep right now in your bed with the covers, the warm covers of your bed, and then your iPad or your or your Samsung Galaxy Note phone is, is turned off. And you can't hear me uh, telling telling this this uh, story about a square dance with a prom king and a prom queen and a cat that can dance like a person. And uh, yeah, and actually, wait, that doesn't make any sense. A square dance. So a square. Okay, square has four corners. A square has four sides. Uh, but with three people. Okay, so I guess maybe there was another person. You know, there had to be another person. There was another. Okay, okay, I made a mistake. I have to. I have to back up. So there were there were four people. So so there was. Um, it's like a. It's like a bracket. There was a. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's a dance bracket. So there was the cat was climbing the bracket, and there was another dancer. That we, uh, that I don't see, but uh, has to be there because it's a square dance. It has to, so so then there would be this the cat, the king, the queen, and then a secret dancer who's who's climbing through the the dance bracket of this dance contest. Mm. So let's find out what happened. Um, so um. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. Okay, so, 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 um, they're, they're, they, they finish the dance and they're really, really tired. They're really, really tired. So they sit down. And by the way, we discover, we discover who, who is the other, uh, dancer. It's a, it's a rabbit and rabbits probably dance really well. Can you imagine? Cats probably dance really well. And rabbits probably dance really. They they do lots of jump dance, jump dancing. That's really really cool. And everybody's really really tired. Um, but because uh, they're all taking a break after the dance. But but the king, the prom king, and the prom queen all decided that yeah okay um, yeah all right then um. The deal is, uh, we're gonna decide who's the winner, and since we're the prom king and the prom queen, we can dance, but but we're not participating. We we can't be the winners of this, but we can choose who's the winners. And the cat and the rabbit were sitting together, and and the cat was being very friendly, so it kind of patted the rabbit on the head and said, you know, I want you to be my my friend. Um. And, and and I want to win. I want to win because this is my first dance contest. But I want you to know that you know if you're the winner, I want us to still be friends because I think you're a really good dancer too. Um, and that suddenly, the 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 prom king, and the prom queen said, "No, it's not how it works. No way. There has to be a winner." And we challenge you to another another dance off. But. But so they're like, so every the whole crowd is like, what? No way. Why? Um, because and then and then the, the the prom queen said, oh, because it's Catterday. That's why it's Catterday. And the prom king said, what? What's Catterday? What about other animals? Can there be a can there be a a a a a, a dog? Day? Can there be a dog day? Like in, <laughs> in, <laughs> in this um <laughs> in this picture? <laughs> uh, this is too adorable. This picture is too this picture of this this pug and this kitten. And the pug seems really sad because the kitten's like, I wanna play because you know what, because it's Catterday and the pug is really sad. He's like, but I wanna play too. 
but how come you get to have a day? Can I get a day too? And the in the picture says, oh, but I thought it was Saturday dog. Not Saturday, but Saturday dog. And the cat says, nope, it's always been Saturday. Ha ha ha. But, but it's okay. You can play with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's too cute. That's so cute. And Uncle John John is very tired. Um, so so now the preparations for the final dance off to decide the winner happened. And it turns out that it had to be a dance off between the cat and the prom king. And so they dance and they dance and they dance and then they're starting to get tired and the rabbit was supporting his his new friend the cat and said you can do it you can do it and the prom queen went up to the prom king and finally had to make him stop because he was looking really silly he was looking really silly now he wasn't dancing he was just doing like like hippie dance you know uh when they you know those um wind sock uh the the bouncy uh air, air uh, puppets you see like in a lot of like car dealerships and places like that where like it's just air blowing through the puppet and it's just kind of waving its head around that's that's like how a lot of hippies dance and that's how the king was dancing like he was dancing like he was at a Grateful Dead concert a Grateful Dead concert what's a Grateful Dead concert ask your really, 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 really old uncle, but not your grandparents, because your grandparents would probably say, "No, no, no, you don't forget all that." But like your, but like your uncle, who's like kind of like the oldest uncle in the fam, he probably would know. He probably would know, yeah, what the great, what a Grateful Dead uh, concert probably would be, and he probably would know what the dance looked like, and he would think I was being pretty funny. So anyway, so the, so the prom queen was like, no, man, you got to stop. You're tired. And also you don't, you have no skills. And the prom king said, okay, you're right. And said, okay, to the cat, you're the winner of the dance contest. And the cat said, yay. And he took a prize. And I don't remember what the prize was because I lost my notes. But that's okay. It doesn't matter because we only need to know that the cat won. And how do we know that the cat won? Because, well, um, he went home. And he went home and uh, he became uh, friends uh, on the way home. He became friends with a cat lady. And we know she's a cat lady because she's an old lady. She's carrying an umbrella. She's carrying an umbrella even though it's really sunny outside. Uh, she's wearing a really, really, really warm clothes and she's covering her hair and she's got a big straw hat. Even though it's it's warm and sunny out. It's warm and sunny out. Mm, boy, oh my gosh. And she's wearing old timey, old timey clothes. And but the but the cat was like, oh, she seems like a really nice old lady. Which, of course, he would say that because she's a cat lady. And cat ladies, only, their only friends are cats, which is fine. I'm kind of a cat lady, too. I'm kind of a cat lady, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And uh, so he he said, okay, well, listen, um, I want to be your friend, but I got to get home. And the cat said, cat lady, sorry, cat lady said, well, I I have to go home too. And I actually, I know where your friend lives. So I'm going to take you to your friend. And so the cat, the cat who was really, really tired from dancing all day long and being the winner, jumped up in the cat lady held him in her arms and said okay let's go and they walked they walked back to the cat's friend's house and that is the end of the story and if you are at the end of the story that means that means you are sleepy and you are asleep and your eyes are closed and you're breathing really really heavy and your mom and your dad are also asleep that's okay. And I hope you have dreams of Catterday and Satterdog and Lumberjacks and Prom Kings and Prom Queens and Square Dances and all 
that really cool stuff. So that is the end of the story. And that is how I shall say good night.